Tiger Woods had built up, and this is one of the most amazing American sports stories ever, maybe the most. Tiger Woods had built this completely artificial facade. Everything about him was artificial except for his athletic prowess. His golf was obviously perfect. It was powerful. It was long. It was great around the greens. It was dominant in majors. It was closing on Sundays. It was intimidating the other guy. It was perfect. It was the perfect game. And it was built on this kind of machismo of you couldn't intimidate him. He was going to intimidate you. He will stare you down. He will beat you. He will hit the drive longer than you. He will be better around the the green than you. And on Sunday of a major, you can't beat him. And it was all fraudulent because it was built on this kind of fraudulent facade of the perfect, hyper-meticulous, hyper-disciplined, uber-professional guy that all he cared about was golf. And that he was so meticulous on everything in his life, everything, that Tiger Woods couldn't lose because he was a robot. He was a golf robot sent from a different planet. And it was fraudulent because we all thought, well, this perfectly groomed persona of beautiful wife, Swedish model, two beautiful kids, a dad that was hyper-competitive and drove him, a mom that gave him this kind of softness that he was perfectly molded. He was in the public eye by the age of three. He was winning amateurs at whatever age. He was on late-night talk shows when he was seven, putting, whatever it was. He was perfectly conditioned. He was perfectly created for this. And so he's the face of everything. He's the face of American Express and the face of Nike and the face of golf and the face of everything because everything is just Look, he's perfect. You can't defeat him. You can't beat him. Can't beat him at golf. Can't beat him in life. Can't beat him anywhere. And in reality, he's living a total lie. 